Jonathan Beale there reporting on that story for us. And for more, I'm joined now by the global affairs analyst Michael Botsikiv in Canada, who is an Atlantic Council fellow and former spokesman for the OSCE. It's great to get you on the program, Michael. In the first instance, I just want to ask you how significant you think this latest promise from NATO is for Ukraine. Sure, good to be with you. Well, obviously, it's what the Ukrainians have been asking for for a long, long time. That is to close their skies completely to incoming Russian weapons. Uh, you'll recall a few days ago, during the latest barrage, there were about 70 missiles uh, uh, sent by Russia, 50 were taken down by the Ukrainians, but it was that remainder that hit the critical infrastructure. Until Ukraine, Grisha, can close its uh, skies entirely, no inch of Ukrainian soil can be uh, considered safe. So, And also the other additional aid of uh, helping Ukraine to rebuild those uh, power uh, stations, because, you know, the Russian Russians know where a lot of these installations are. After all, they were the ones who built a lot of them during Soviet times. So Ukraine is at a disadvantage in that regard as well. And, and how might Russia view uh, these latest promises from NATO, Michael? Well, we already know uh, people like uh, Mr. Medvedev and others have uh, gone on rants on uh, social media saying that this is unacceptable and will provoke Russia. But I think Western leaders are finally, finally growing the spine to stand up to Mr. Putin. And I think part of that is, is because uh, Russian uh, military forces, uh, missiles and so on, have been so degraded uh, that they perhaps feel a bit more bold in terms of standing up to Russia. The other thing, quickly, if I may, I I think all Ukraine, as colleagues of the Atlantic Council have also said, is that Ukraine should be given the ability to strike inside Russian territory. That is uh, weapons that can travel more than 40 kilometers because Russia is striking Ukraine, but Ukraine can't strike back in a proportionate way. Uh, so that, that needs to be thought about as well. And where do you see the war going from here in terms of further escalation from Russia? Well, I think uh, Russia is going to be very preoccupied with holding on to what it has. That's um, part of the Donbass, uh, Luhansk and Donetsk, as well as that land bridge that connects Crimea with the Russian mainland. But I have to say, uh, the statements coming from Ukrainian officials in the past days and weeks about moving forward by the new year to take back parts of Crimea is pretty bold. But I think there's a lot of public support behind those measures. So um, Ukraine will be, on the one hand, holding on to places like Kherson, but on the other hand, planning offensive measures as well. Global Affairs Analyst Michael Botsyarkiv, thank you so much for joining us on the program with your thoughts.